So along with Tom Clark, Sean McDermott is the other key figure uh, within the, the IRB, which, which brings about the Easter Rising. Uh, McDermott was a, was a much younger figure. They're, they're, they're a good foil. Clark is older, sort of taciturn, difficult to find that kind of figure. Uh, McDermott is a younger, um, more outgoing, um, energetic figure. Uh, McDermott is born in Kilty Clare in County Leitrim. He's not born into a, a Fenian tradition in the same way as some of the other figures, such as Clark. He comes to republicanism through cultural nationalism, and he in fact been involved with, with, with organisations such as the Hibernians um, prior to that. But uh, McDermott becomes one of the key figures uh, within the Fenian uh, movement by, the, uh, by 1908, 1910. Um, he's the managing editor of, of Irish Freedom, so he's essentially a very important kind of propagandist within um, Fenianism. At this point, the Fenians have very little po popular support. The idea of bringing about a rising seems uh, a fanciful idea um, to many, but uh, McDermott is awaiting the opportunity when these ideas can, can, can gain more public appeal, and that begins to happen with the formation of the Irish Volunteers. So for someone like McDermott, the arrival of the volunteers, which is sparked off, of course, by the Ulster crisis, creates an opening for a kind of a, a militaristic politics which hadn't existed previously. And McDermott and Clark uh, work assiduously to make sure that the volunteers comes under the influence of the Fenians, or at the very least that the Fenians can use the volunteers as the kind of foot soldiers um, of their uh, rebellion. And increasingly by 1915, um, that strategy of using the volunteers as a kind of uh, a, the army which can bring off a rebellion appears to look uh, like a viable one.